Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Saddam Hussain. Today in National Income Accounting, we'll do a numerical from value added. Oftentimes we have seen there will be a four mark or value added numerical. They'll ask you to find out sometimes gross value added, sometimes net value added, sometimes at factor cost, sometimes at market price. I hope you recollect the formula which we give you. They give you sales. To sales you always add change in stock. You get gross value of output. Sales plus change in stock will give you gross value of output. G -G -V -O, gross value of output you always get at market price. I give you some other tricks. If they given you sales, please don't take exports. Why we don't take exports? Because sales is the total sales of the economy. They may be sold in the domestic territory or they must have exported. That's the total sales. Sales, we always treat it as total sales or what has been produced in the economy and sold. Sales. To this you add change in stock. You get gross value of output. In change in stock, you already know the formula. Change in stock is equal to closing stock minus opening stock. Not the other way around. Not opening stock minus closing stock. Some students mistake it and write it in the exams. So change in stock is equal to closing stock minus opening stock. So always remember GVO at MP, gross value of output at market price is equal to sales plus change in stock. So I've given you a nice clue. If they've given you sales, please don't take exports unless they give you domestic sales. If they've given you domestic sales, please add exports. Or if they've given you domestic sales, take it. Exports, of course, add to that. Value of goods kept for self-consumption, please take it. And, okay, that's it. Sales plus change in stock is normally what they give you. From gross value of output, if you subtract intermediate consumption expenditure, you get gross value added. GVA at MP, you always get it market price, don't forget it. GVA at MP. From GVA, gross value added market price, if you subtract depreciation, we call it as consumption of fixed capital, you get the gross value will become net value. NVA at MP, net value added market price. From net value added market price, if you subtract NIT, net indirect taxes, that is indirect taxes minus subsidies, you get net value added factor cost. That's it. Net value added factor cost of all the firms within the domestic territory, we call it as NDP at market price, net domestic product. Okay, NDP or NVA. If it is one firm, it's NVA. So I repeat the formula. Sales plus change in stock will give you gross value of output. Minus intermediate consumption will give you gross value at market price. Minus depreciation net value at market price. Minus NIT net value at factor cost. Now let's practically do one sum which came in one of the board exams. They asked you, this came for four marks. It's pretty simple. Calculate. <coughs> So, net value added at factor cost, NV at FC. All the values are given rupees and crores. Don't forget <coughs> this to write it in exams. All the values are rupees and crores. They given you sales, 400 crores, change in stock, minus 20. Uh, intermediate consumption is 200, pretty simple. Net indirect taxes, oh, NIT is 40, 
and exports that is x minus m exports minus imports 50 if the given is separately exports and imports please exports minus imports is the formula depreciation this we call it as consumption of fixed capital 30 i repeat calculate net value at factor cost they're asking you nv at fc rupees in crore sales 400 change in stock is 20 minus 20 intermediate consumption is 200 net indirect tax is 40 exports is 50 depreciation is 30 how to do this numerical i prefer you always do it vertically so that you will never get confused step by step so first let's start sales they given you 400 rupees in crores 400 you write it plus change in stock minus 20 so we add it but the value is given as minus so 400 minus 20 380 step by step that will give you gross value of output you may be wondering here so why don't you take uh, why don't you take exports here because exports is already included in the sales here so sales plus change in stock will give you gross value of output at market price uh, we wrote it here rupees and crores and now step by step from gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption minus 200 step by step 380 minus 200 will give you 180 that will be your gross value added at market price when you subtract from gross value of output intermediate consumption we already know gv at mp you get gross value at market price and the next step will be from gross we go to net so what do you do you subtract depreciation or we call it as consumption of fixed capital depreciation is given there as uh, 30 so minus 30 that comes out to be 150 150 that will be from gross to net net value added at market price and the last step is from net value added at market price we subtract nit net indirect taxes they're given you here directly as uh, 40 so we subtract net you get net value added at factor cost that will be 110 so once again i repeat sales plus change in stock will give you gross value of output at market price from gross value of output market price if you subtract intermediate consumption expenditure you get gross value at market price from gross value at market price subtract depreciation you get net value at market price from net value at market price subtract nit net value added at factor cost pretty simple here so don't forget if they give any sales don't take exports because already included unless you get domestic sales consumption of fixed capital the other name for this is uh, consumption of depreciation nit is equal to it minus subsidies net exports is exports minus imports change in stock is closing stock minus opening stock so they are given you here sales plus change in stock will give gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption gross value at market price minus depreciation net value at market price minus nit net value added factor cost so keep practicing so we'll be doing more numerical that's all we have time for today so till we meet next time is goodbye from sanam Hussain. so don't forget to share subscribe like and comment best of luck for exams goodbye